Stokes in the mood, you know, to uh, be able to make life awkward for those two Birmingham centre halves tonight. A bit more promising touches from him. Here's Larson. Ferguson. Ritual. There's Fobert. Hines going in to close down Barry Ferguson. Cole. Now Larson. Car up on the right. Early ball from Carr deflects back to Scott Parker. And Carr's in there again. But Mark Noble comes in to take over. And he's picked out Savon Hines with a wonderful ball. Hines for West Ham. Produces a good save from Foster. Well, first chance of the match and what a good one it was too for West Ham. Really do go to sleep there, Birmingham. Allowing Zavon Hines all sorts of space up that right-hand channel. Had a good look at it, didn't you, the youngster? And in the end, the finish is not what he would have been after. It was a little tentative. Ball in again to all times, and Carlton Cole on the scene too. Here's Carl. I'm going to say, with the way that they've set up West Ham, a little surprisingly, more of a 4-4-2 than 4-5-1 or 4-3-3, with Hines in the middle, supporting Carlton Cole, and it is a partnership that uh, looks capable of causing problems. Well, there was a hint of a handball, I saw Carlton Cole for one appeal, he was closest to it, Ewanek on the left hand, didn't know too much about it. A bit harsh, extremely harsh. Here's Johnson. Now Ferguson. Boya. success in recent times in short supply this the only major trophy Birmingham have won in their history back in the 60s West Ham have never won the trophy they've been in the final twice last time 30 years ago Upson that's Bridge looking to seek out Cole Carlton Cole took it early well I think he had to take it fairly early that was, he snatched at it a little bit, but again, here you've got an example of the pace and power of Carlton Cole causing problems down that channel. Whenever they've gone forward, West Ham, they have looked dangerous. And he's a chance, he knows it, took it a little bit too high. Well, there were plenty of people who thought there'd be an O'Neill in the dugout tonight, there is, but he's behind Avram Grant, Gary O'Neill. Here's Noble. Upson. Ferguson. 
Bobert lets it run. It certainly might make life difficult for Birmingham. This opening 13 minutes or so, West Ham, the way they've set up. Very determined opposition. This team have certainly had the better, better of it in these opening stages. A lot more dangerous going forward. Strange contrast with their form this season. West Ham have won all five Carling Cup matches outright. One win more than they've managed in the Premier League. And their last four wins in the competition have all come against teams from the top division. Here's Faubert. Came off Parker. Understanding between the two, Roger Johnson talking to Juranek, his new central defensive partner. I think there'll be a lot of that tonight. Communication between the two will be vital. Juranek new to the scene. Positionally, he looks a little confused at times. With Cole in the mood, he's here, Mark, uh, could spell trouble. Here's Bridge. In the end, by Stephen Carr. The pressure building, and Carr looks concerned with good reason. Bridge. Ferguson. That's Gardner. Derbyshire followed out there by Tompkins. Here's Ferguson. Bridgewell. Way by Faubert. Gardner has a go, and Green could only stand watching. I think it was a fair distance off in the end, but let's quick on to this. Ferguson to supply the ball to his teammate. He's found the net from those kind of distances before. Five goals this season for Craig Gardner, a boyhood Birmingham City fan. Ideally, he would love to be going to Wembley with them at the end of February to play Arsenal in the final of this competition. with a free kick to Roger Johnson. Here's Ridgewell. Liam Ridgewell, who started life as a junior at West Ham, but has a habit of scoring against them. The goal he got in the first leg was the third time he's come back to hold them with a goal against them.